I'll take my scraper here and I can literally just peel this right off. Hi, I'm Danielle, and today I'm going to show you tips and tricks to removing wallpaper. wallpaper is um, you have a base coat and then underneath you'll have the adhesive sub coat that will actually stick to your last wall. When you're moving wallpaper this little guy comes in handy. I will link the link below in Amazon and what the score is going to do is it's going to go over the outside of this coat which will allow our next step to work better. Um, I use this steamer it comes with about five to six attachments. This heats up, it can burn you, so be careful. And then my third thing that I use to remove wallpaper is just a standardized scraper. First thing you'll do is you'll use the score on these walls. When you do this, apply light pressure. If you press too hard, it's gonna damage the wall underneath and then you'll have to go through and do a skim coat. Um, I'm gonna use my steamer. So it does drip a little bit when you turn it on. So if you have a floor that you don't want to get messy, put down something. Um, in this case for us, it doesn't matter. We're gonna refinish these floors anyways. So when I'm prepping wallpaper, I'm gonna start with any areas like this that I can actually remove first. And I'm gonna peel back as much as I can peel. For here, I won't need to use the score, so I'll just be able to steam this. Just start with this back here. And see how this drips? The first one will always drip, and that's why you need to lay something on the floor below, because the steam will build. I hold this here for about 10 to 15 seconds, depending upon if I'm doing it on this base coat or this base coat. And I will take my scraper here, and I can literally just peel this right off. I'm gonna show you what it's like to remove it from this wall here, and I'm gonna use the score. When you score this, what it's actually doing is allowing the steam to come through the adhesive, so that way it's easier for you to scrape off. You can see how it's still pretty difficult, but if you can find an area where you can actually remove this, see how this layer is actually coming off easily? Then you can start just peeling and that's when you get to that sub layer. And you can actually see right here where I made my perforations or my scoring, how it actually got underneath this to get this off. So it makes it a lot easier if you can pull the top coat off. Yeah, if you can pull this coat off, that's great. It just gives you kind of a good base. And at this point, like I said, you don't need to score from here. So that's today's demonstration of wallpaper removal. If you have any questions, please list them below and I will go through and answer all your questions. Like I said, again, these three devices, I will have listed below for links so you can purchase them. And go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, Trendy Outdoors then.